Welcome to the Old Time Radio Superman Show. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham. If you have a comment, send it to me, adam at adamsweb.us. And be sure to check out dimnight.com and my new book, Tales of the Dim Night, available for $4.25 on Kindle or $11.99 as a paperback. Well, we're beginning the very last of the original run of Superman. After this particular serial, uh, Superman went off the uh, air for several months. Unfortunately, this also ends the uh, reliable nature of our Superman adventures. And we're going to have to be very careful to make sure we bring you complete serials. Or at least serials that make sense. But let's go ahead and we will get into it. It is a mystery for Superman. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can leap tall buildings at a single bound, race a speeding bullet to its target, Ben Steele in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. But before we join Superman, listen. And now to our story. In response to editor Perry White's urgent telegram, Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and young Jimmy Olsen are speeding back to Metropolis aboard the Tri-State Limited, puzzled as to the reason for White's almost frantic summons. As we join them in a drawing room, the crack streamlined express is thundering through the night. Jimmy, you don't have to finish that box of candy in one sitting. I've only had five pieces. Only five pieces? Now go on, put the cover on the box. That's all we need now is to take you off the train with a stomach ache. Clark? Hmm? Yes, Lois? I don't suppose you've had any bright ideas. Bright ideas? You know what I mean. Have you thought of any reasons for Mr. White wanting us back in such a hurry? Now look, Lois, it's 10.30 now. We just pull out of Glenwood. The next stop is Walden Junction and then Metropolis, the end of the line. In exactly 27 minutes, you'll know all the answers. Really, there are times when you can be the most exasperating person. How you can sit there with your nose buried in a newspaper is beyond me. Haven't you any curiosity? Maybe the Daily Planet building burned down. That'll be ridiculous, Jimmy. Well, you can't tell. Look. Yes? Exactly what did Mr. White say in the telegram? Well, not very much. I, I told you. You weren't very specific. Well, <laughs> neither was he. Maybe a German spy set a bomb off. Jimmy, little boys should be seen and not heard. I'm uh, not little, and a German spy could set off a bomb, couldn't he? Yes, he could. Clark, haven't you any idea what Mr. White wants? Oh, Lois, I wish you'd stop eating your heart out. We'll know exactly what he wants the moment we get in. Do you think you'll meet us at the station? I'm sure I don't know. Talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. All right, go on, read your paper. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care. Who's that? Come in. Uh, excuse me, I got a telegram from Mr. Kent. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Well, why don't you open it? I will. It's not going to fly away. Jimmy, I said no more candy. Oh, just one piece. I said no more. <sighs> okay. Huh. Oh, this is strange. Strange? Yes. What do you mean, Clark? Another telegram from Mr. White. God. What does it say? Listen. We'll meet you and Jimmy at Walden Junction. Tell Lois to proceed to Metropolis and report at office. Signed, Perry White. Oh, I don't understand that. Mr. Ken and me are supposed and to... And I... Mr. Kent and I are yes. supposed to get off at Walden Junction. That's the next stop. And you're supposed to go on to Metropolis. That's right, isn't it, Mr. Kent? Well, according to the telegram. What's the idea? I don't know, Lois. But orders are orders. Now, oh, everything packed, Jimmy? Yeah, uh, except the candy. <laughs> I'll carry that. Clark, what's behind all this? You know as much about it as I do. Yeah, that sounds like the station whistle. 
We'll be pulling in in a minute or so. Put your coat on, Jim. Uh, why can't I get off at Walden Junction, too? Well, I can think of one very good reason. Mr. White wants you to get off at Metropolis. There's something very strange about this whole business. Something I don't like. You're tossing it off much too lightly, Clark. No, I'm not. But there's one thing you've got to remember, Lois. A good soldier takes orders. I suppose so. Come on, Jim. See you at the office, Lois. Boy, how much longer are we going to hang around the station, Mr. Kent? Gee whiz, that cold wind goes right through me. Well, go into the waiting room, Jimmy. It's warm there. No, I'd rather stick with you. Yes, I don't understand this at all. That telegram was clear enough. Oh, are you sure it said to get off at Walden Junction? Positive. Right, here it is. Now, let's look at it under that light there. Ah. What does it say? We'll meet you and Jimmy at Walden Junction. Well, this is Walden Junction, all right. And here's Mr. White. We've been waiting here for all month. Well, what's the matter, Mr. Kent? Jimmy, we've been tricked. Tricked? What do you mean? This telegram is a fake. It was written on a typewriter. I should have noticed that a l- long time ago. I... Golly. But why should anyone send us a fake telegram? There could only be one reason to separate us from Lois. You mean... Now, look, Jimmy, there's no time to waste. You trust me, don't you? Why, sure. Now, listen carefully. There's a local train coming through in 15 minutes. Now, here, here's some money. You buy a ticket and ride into Metropolis. What? Go right to the office. You mean alone? Yes, I have important work to do, and it must be done fast. Oh, but I... You said you trusted me, Jim. Oh, okay. Good boy. Now, you stay in the waiting room until the train pulls in. If you get to the office before I do, keep mum about all this, understand? Uh-huh. So long. So long. I kicked myself for falling to that fake telegram. Well, maybe it's not too late. Maybe I can still catch the limited as Superman. Oh, Jimmy can't see me now. Just stepped into the waiting room. Up! Up! And away! Streaking through the darkness, Superman follows the steel rails like a bird in flight. Picks up the Tri-State Limited halfway between Walden Junction and Metropolis. Dropping to the darkened observation platform, he enters the train as Clark Kent and hurries to the drawing room in which he left Lois. Ah, this is it. Drawing room C, car 42. Lois! Lois! That's funny. What? The door's locked. Lois! Lois! I don't understand it. Oh, Porter! Uh, Can you unlock this door for me? Yes, I... Great day in the morning. What's the matter? Didn't you all get off of Walden Junction? Yes, but I... Well, I, I, I got on again. Can you unlock this door? Well, there, there's a lady in that drawing room. I, I know there is. The young lady who was with me. You remember, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, don't you answer? No. Have you a key? Yes, yeah, sir. A rat here. I'll just see how you get off of Walden please. Junction. Yes, yeah, sir. Right here. There's the, She's open now. Thank you. Thank you. The room's empty. Well, no, sir, that can't be. I tell you, it's empty. Oh, the train halted, then it's up. Come down. Yes? Clark Kent is back, Mr. White. Oh, he is, is he? Well, they'll send him in. I'll give him a piece of my mind. What's he think we're running here? A high school yearbook? Hello, Mr. White. Close the door. Now, Kent, what's the now, big Just idea? a minute, please. Something serious has happened. Hmm, I'm glad you realize I'm it. I'm afraid you don't know what I'm talking about, Mr. White. Oh, no. No, of course not. I'm a dope. An adult painted fool. Now, just a minute. I don't understand English. If you can hold your temper in check for a moment, I'd like to discuss something with you. Oh, you would. Well, where were you when I returned from Washington? Now, look. Did it ever occur to you that I might want to discuss something with you once in a while? Take it easy, will you? You knew we were at the Bar O Ranch with Jimmy. As a matter of fact, we were just leaving when your telegram arrived. My telegram? Yes. Are you crazy? You said you wanted us back at once, that something important had come up. Ah, you're out of your mind. What? In the first place, I didn't know where you were. In the second place, if I had telegraphed, it would have been to tell you that you're fired. Wait a minute. You mean to say you didn't send me a wire early this evening at 7 o'clock? I did not. Oh, wait a minute. Am I crazy? Mm, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. 
Oh, where's Lois? One thing at a time, Mr. White. You did send a wire to the Barrow Ranch, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. Now, listen, Kent. I don't understand this. There are a few things that I don't understand either. Now, where's Lois? I don't know. Wasn't she with you? Yes, but she disappeared off the train. Well, now wait. She disappeared off the... Please, let's get things straight. It wasn't you who sent the first telegram. How many times do I have to... All right, all right. Kent, if this is your idea of a joke... It's no joke, Mr. White. It's pretty serious. Now, listen to me. Jimmy ran into some trouble at the Bar O' Dude Ranch. Lois and I went up to straighten it out. We were about to return when a wire came through signed by you. It said to come back at once. Something important had come up. I didn't wire you or anyone else. I suppose not, if you say so. Well, anyway, we took the first train out to Tri-State Limited. Just after we pulled out of Glenwood, the porter gave me a telegram. Again, it was signed with your name, and it said for Jimmy and myself to get off at Walden Junction and for Lois to go on to Metropolis. I never sent that telegram either. I know it. That one was a fake, but I fell for it. Jimmy and I got off. We waited around for ten minutes before I realized the telegram wasn't authentic. Then I followed the train. Oh. Why, I, um, I hired a car. You mean to say you caught the Limited in the car? Well, you see, it, it, it was a fast car. I mean... All right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, 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 what happened? Well, I got aboard the train. The door to Lois's drawing room was locked. The porter opened it. But she wasn't there. Hmm, probably in the club car. No, she wasn't. We searched the train thoroughly. She wasn't on board. Kent, do you expect me to swallow that? The Limited doesn't stop between Walden Junction and Metropolis. She couldn't have gotten off. Mr. White, I tell you, she wasn't on that train. She's gone. Then Now, look, Kent. Uh, wait a minute. Very White speaking. Hello, Mr. White. Lois. Is Clark Kent there? Yeah, yes, he is. But where under the sun are you? Look, let me speak to Clark, quickly. Yes, but I know that... Oh, all right. Here, Kent. She wants to speak to you. Okay. Lois, what in the name look, of... I haven't much time, Clark. Listen, don't worry. Everything is all right. I'll call you at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. But, Lois, you Goodbye. can... Goodbye. Wait a minute, look. She hung up. Listen, Kent. What's this all about? That's what I'd like to know, Mr. White. Well, it looks like someone is weaving the web of a baffling mystery around Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and Perry White. How did Lois vanish from the train, and where is she now? And who was responsible for the false telegrams? This is just the beginning, so don't miss a single mystifying episode. Tune in and follow the story with Superman. Don't forget, tune in again for the next thrilling episode with Superman. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. Welcome back. Wow, these serials uh, do uh, definitely keep getting better. Uh, This really has got me into suspense as to what is going on. The sense of mystery is definitely uh, strong here, and I think so much better than in the serials where the writers decided we can drag it out for 15 or 20 parts. I can hardly wait to see what's uh, going to happen in Part 2 and Part 3. Be with us next week for that. In the meantime, send your comments to adam at adamsweb.us, and remember to check out dimnot.com. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham, signing off.